Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be working with the Simon Says Tamp August 2017 card kit. So here is a quick look at everything that came in the kit. For card number one, I started off using my Lawn Fawn's Stitched Rectangle Die that measures three and three quarters by five inches to cut out a rectangle from that pretty marble paper. And then there you just saw me using the Simon Says Stamp Tri-Square Die to cut out those three windows. Now I'm layering these two together and I'm not sure what I was thinking at the time, but I actually didn't want to cut the holes in the front of the card. Uh, once I trimmed out um, the cut apart that came in the packet, I realized that they were, it was just not going to work. I was going to have to layer them behind that front marble layer in order to get them posed the way that I wanted them without them overlapping on the inside of the card. Um, so you'll see I'll fix that in a minute, but here I'm just going to take those cut aparts and place those behind the windows where I'd like them to be. And then here I'm just going to take a panel cut from some Mina cardstock and this is trimmed down to four by five and a quarter and I'll place that on the inside of the card. Then I took one of those uh, puffy stickers that came in the kit and I placed that over the bottom square and that'll give my card a little bit of added dimension. Here I've placed another one of those Nina panels on the other side of the inside of the card and I'm going to stamp this sentiment, me, you plus me equals awesome. And here I'm using a mixture of two different inks. I wanted to try and match that pretty orange color in some of the cut aparts. So I'm using Studio G Red Pigment Ink and then Simon Says Stamp Orange Crush Dye Ink. And I think I stamped each color twice in order to get uh, sort of the mixture that I was looking for. And that completes card number one. Moving on to the second card, here I've cut from the XOXO paper a rectangle measuring four by five and a quarter. And on the bottom of that panel, I'm gonna use an EK Success Corner Rounder. And here I am laying out how I'd like the card to look. I cut a strip of MFT's Peach Bellini cardstock to run across the front of it. And this ended up measuring three quarters by five and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that panel using my ATG gun. And then attach that strip of cardstock. I'll trim off that excess hanging over the end there. And then I'm going to add some of the stickers that came in the kit.
For the inside of the card, I've again used one of those Amina panels trimmed down to four by five and a quarter, and I again used that corner rounder on the bottom edge. Here I'm stamping the sentiment, love you endlessly, and I'm using Lawn Fawn Hippo ink for that. And then between those two, I'm going to stamp that row of pluses that came in the stamp set, and I'm gonna use Lawn Fawn Peachy Keen ink for that. And that will complete card number two. For card number three, I wanted to embellish that live more sentiment. So I've trimmed that out of the cardstock down to five and a quarter by three and a half inches. And then you'll see there I have another panel of that striped marble paper that I trimmed down to five and a quarter by four inches. And here I'm using some Sullivan's floss and that is number 45141. It's a pretty orangish red color. And what I did is I took my needle and I just went through and I poked holes um, on all of those, uh, the ends of all of those X's there at the bottom. And here I'm just gonna go ahead and thread that floss through. Once I had finished embroidering the X's at the bottom, I decided I wanted a little bit more of that red. So I went up and I've added some to a few of the stripes in the V. And here you can see I'm just poking those holes on either end of the stripes and again, just embroidering through those. Here I'm measuring out some fun foam that I'm going to place behind that live more sentiment. I'll attach that using my ATG gun. Then I'll pop that up on top of that marble and striped panel. I'll then place that on top of my card base. And that completes card number three. For card number four, I'm gonna use that pretty rainbow plus paper that came in the kit. And I've again trimmed that down to four by five and a quarter. And I've used my corner rounder on the, just one edge of that. Here I've trimmed out um, some sour apple cardstock. This is from MFT. And that measures four by one and a half inches. I'm going to pop that up on the front of my card using some foam tape.
then here I've added another one of the stickers that came in the kit. And I decided it needed a little something more. So I'm again going back to that Peach Bellini cardstock. And I'm stamping the sentiment thanks using the Lawn Fawn Hippo ink. And here I decided um, just to sort of offset that slightly. So the final dimensions are 5 8 inches by 3 and 3 quarters. And I just attached that using my ATG gun. And that completes card number four. For card number five, I decided I wanted to work with the embossing powder that came in the kit. This powder is so beautiful when it's heat set. It's, I've tried to catch the light in the video and both in the pictures that I took, but it really is just something special when you see it in person. It's so shiny, so iridescent, it's just gorgeous. Um, so here I'm using some regular computer paper and I've just decided that I wanted to highlight a few of the stripes on this panel. Um, and this panel I did trim down again to four by five and a quarter. Here I'm using Versamark ink. It's hard to tell because the stripe that I'm embossing is white, but I've just um, I've just marked off all but that stripe, then added the Versamark ink, and here I'm adding the embossing powder, and I'll heat set that, and then I repeated this two more times, just on random stripes. Here I'll use my ATG gun to attach that panel to the top of my card. And then to finish that off, I'm using one of the puffy stickers that says there's beauty in simplicity. And that completes card number five. For card number six, I've trimmed out this triangle panel to four by five and a quarter. And then I wanted to use the leftover stripes from the previous card, so I've trimmed that down. And that ended up measuring half inch by four inches. Here I again wanted to use that beautiful embossing powder. So I have cut a circle that measures two inches. And then I just placed some Versamark ink over that and dumped the uh, embossing powder on top of it. Then I heat set that. I'm attaching one of the stickers that says we are superheroes. Here I'm going to attach the strip that I cut out from what was left over from the last card. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to lay out the design. I'll attach that with my ATG gun. Trim off the excess and then place the panel on the front of the card. And then I wanted a little more dimension, so I went ahead and used some foam tape. You can see I'm getting down to the very end of my roll there. And I'll place that on the back of the circle, remove the backing, and then pop that on the front of the card. And that completes card number six. For card number seven, here I'm working directly on the top of my card. I'm adding some ATG gun adhesive, and I'm gonna create a background using two of the papers that came in the kit. Uh, here I'm attaching this pretty uh, pink and orangish red triangle paper on one side. And then for the other half, I'll use this taupe grid paper. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just trim around the edges of that.
For the focal point of my card, I used another paper that came in the kit, and this one says more creating, more books, more fun, more hugs. So I've trimmed that to two and a half by five and a half inches. And then here I'm just cutting out some fun foam to go behind that. I'll then place that on the front of my card and I'm just gonna set that slightly off center. And then to finish up, I'm adding a few more stickers. I'm adding Live More With Less. And then I'll add three pink triangle stickers above that. And that will complete card number seven. For card number eight, I'm working with a gatefold card. And this is um, the same size as a regular A2 size card. Just you score it at two and one eighth inches on either end and then fold in towards the middle. Here I am cutting down one of the papers that came in the kit and I'm, I'm making sure to keep um, the cuts in the proper order so that I can line them up together. Now I did this because originally I was going to make a belly band to go around the card and then I ended up changing it so it really actually I didn't have to be this detailed but I left it in here in case um, you know you're you're wanting to try and do it differently so you can see how I would line that up so that the front looks like one continuous sheet of paper and then here I'll attach the bottom making sure that I've got it in the right direction And then again, I'll take that over to my trimmer and just trim off the excess. Here I'm using some MFT gravel gray and I've trimmed that down to, uh, let's see, it ended up being one and one eighth inch by five and a half. And I've attached that purposefully leaving about half hanging over the edge of the top. And then I went ahead and rounded those corners again. Here I'll add a sticker that says, be who you are, do what you do. And then I went ahead and added some Wink of Stella uh, just on the pink lines going across the card there. And that completes card number eight. For card number nine, I again wanted to make a background using two of the patterned papers that came in the kit. So here I'm attaching what I had left over of this pretty marble paper. I've trimmed off the excess there and here on top of that I'm going to add the uh, pink and lime green and cream polka dot. And I did overlap that slightly so the polka dot ended up measuring uh, 3 and 3 eighths inches. I've cut a square uh, measuring one and three quarter inches by one and three quarter inches out of MFT gravel gray cardstock. And then I'm using one of the sentiments that I trimmed out from the cut apart and just attaching that on top. 
I'm going to pop that up using some scotch foam tape. And then I wanted to add uh, just a little more fancy to that. So here I'm using some gold sewing floss. And I'm not sure what brand this is. It's just some that I have left over from, I think, another card kit, actually. So I've just sort of wound that around my fingers until I got it a way that I liked it. And I'm going to attach that to the card with the foam tape that I have on the back of the sentiment. And that will complete card number nine. For card number 10, I decided I wanted to make a shaker card. So here I'm creating a window uh, using this pixelated uh, paper that came in the kit. And I've used my Lawn Fawn stitch rectangle dies to cut out five by three and three quarter. And in the center there, three by one and three quarter for the window. I then also use the two and a quarter by three and a half rectangle die to cut out from the graph paper. And that's gonna be my shaker window background. So I'm just laying that out on the card and here I've attached one of the puppy stickers that says and in the middle of my chaos there was you. Um, and then I also had some of those green triangle puppy stickers left so I placed three of those around that. I then added a strip of that Peach Bellini cardstock, and this measured a half inch by five inches. And I just trimmed the excess off that panel there. And then I'm adding one more sticker, which reads so happy together, and it's that same lime green to match those triangles um, in the center. I'm gonna pop that frame up using some Scotch foam tape. Oh, no, first I added some acetate uh, to cover the window and I just attached that using my ATG gun. And now I'll go ahead and add the scotch foam tape to pop that up. In the center, I'm gonna place some of that embossing powder that came in the kit. And then I'll remove the backing on the foam tape and place that on top of my card. Oh, and I did run a little bit of my EK Success uh, powder tool around the edges wasn't sure how much that uh, embossing powder was going to stick, um, but it, it actually worked out okay. And that completes card number 10. Here is a quick look at what I have left over from the card kit. And this will complete our cards for today. Additional close-ups of the cards as well as a full list of supplies can be found at my blog post, listed in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.